I mean, I'm gonna ask the question though. I'm gonna ask the question as if it's for me. Are you feeling boys? Like, do you want to be with men? Like, what do you think? Like, what's up, Neezy Gang? Gang, 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 gang. Okay, y'all. So we're here. I'm excited because Ooh. guess what, y'all? I'm starving. I'm super hungry. And yeah. We're doing a little. Little mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang. I had so much fun the last time we did a mukbang. Ooh. When we did the crab. Did y'all see crab, crab leg, leg mukbang? Fire. Go Fire. check it out if you haven't. Ooh. But you know what? We were like, you know what? It's time for a little life update. Yeah, time for a little life update. A lot of people have been asking us, like, Ooh. what's going on with y'all? Like, <laughs> can you give us an update on, like, you Let, know, tell us more, please. We just want to know about your life. Right. Your life. Your please. life life. Your everything. So, so yeah, we definitely going to give an update. It's time. It's yes. time. It's time. Okay. You know, I got a little flashy, y'all. Y'all don't never really see me too flashy because I don't like to be too flashy but you know fun facts on this necklace okay tell them tell them actually the first person to tag us on their stories damn you see that limbo sheesh Girl, so, sorry needs the gang sorry go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. the <laughs> first person to tag us on their stories of where easy got this necklace from where'd I get that necklace from oh I'm trying to see the real supporters if you get this right like where and when real. where and when where, where and when, when yeah did easy get this necklace from Comment and below. We're gonna repost you on our story. So yeah. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, tag us on your story. Okay, all that, all that good uh, stuff. Okay, but I was talking about my grills. That's what I was trying to talk about. Um, you know, saying, but uh, you know, I don't never wear them. I had these for years. Is it good? Am I, am I good? Yeah. Am I good? I'm, I'm good. good to okay. Go. We gotta wear masks so you don't you really get to see good. it. But look at you, looking like a whole snack. She got oh. the whole, Hold on now. the whole thing going. Oh. <laughs> All right, chill, chill, chill. Okay, so right now we're about to get some wings. So we're gonna give you guys an update about the car accident because, you know, I was in a car accident. We were in a car accident, you know what I'm saying? It was my baby's car. I happened to be inside. So we're gonna give you an update on that and everything that's going on with that. And uh, let's go get the food. Let's get the wings. You ready? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, we getting wings because y'all suggested it. If you got my number, you know, I, I texted y'all and told y'all. Like, yo, what y'all wanna, what y'all wanna see is eat. What y'all wanna see is eat? Wings. wings. Everybody said wings, so we gonna get the wings. Wings it is. We listed in these gang. Okay, let's get it. So, okay, before we get inside, kind of something I wanted to touch on and just ask you guys' opinion. We got our mask on, but you can hear us, okay? Mm -hmm. So, we've been talking about, you know, these masks. You know, this isn't foreign to anybody anymore. At first, it was foreign to us. Remember, it was just like, damn, everybody's wearing masks. Everybody's wearing masks. We kind of been talking about, like, what's going on in the media. They're supposedly, the government or whoever is going to force people to take a, I guess, COVID or whatever vaccine. And I want to know what you guys think about it. Like, Hmm. Forcing vaccines on people just to do certain things, to enter buildings, to travel, to to do certain things. So I kind of want to know what you guys actually think. Thank you. Open the door. Oh. Stop. No problem. You're such a gentlewoman. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Before we order, like, so what do you think about them? Supposedly, I don't know if this is true yet. You have it's it's gonna be mandatory to get a vaccine. Kids going to school and working and all that stuff. What do you think? I don't think that's fair. You know what I'm saying? Because not everybody believes in vaccines. Right. Right. So. I don't think that it's fair to the people who don't believe in vaccines mm. that you're forced to take the vaccine to live like a normal life because vaccines are very contradictory because yeah, true, true, sometimes true. like people get sick from the vaccines. Uh, people say that these vaccines are poisonous, that they're killing people, causing autism, all different types yeah. of things. So um, I feel like the, the I understand that mm -hmm. they're trying to be safe, but right, I'm thinking right. they need to get a little more innovative. Like we can go to the moon. You can figure out this coronavirus. <laughs> right. Shoot, we need Jessica for Breonna Taylor. Yeah, that's kind of pretty much my thoughts, exactly what she said. We kind of discussed it before, but I wanted to, you know, hear the thoughts on camera, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I feel the same way. Like, some people don't believe in vaccines because, like you said, the autism and all this other stuff. So I just want to know what you guys think. So comment below your answers about these vaccines before we get into uh, the good, juicy stuff. I just wanted to, you know, just ask you guys some stuff. You know, know a little about what you think. But um, right now, let's get these wings. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's order. Let's order. Ooh. Oh, that's your song, Natalie? Let me this is get my song. I can don't even know how to dance that. <laughs> can these again get a little? Let me see a two-step. What you got? A little. Ooh. Ooh. Kill them. Kill them. How much is it? 36 71 Ready? Hi, guys. How are you doing? Ah, All right. Bye. Oh, so I lost for my hair and scissors. That was the first time we did that. And I had to pay. But it's okay. I like paying for you. You know, I love paying for you, girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Ready? Mm -hmm. Not too loud. Mm -hmm. 
Where is it at? There's a beetle. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my man over here. <laughs> Come on, okay. Okay. Ready? And... Alright. Girl, you're worried about the wrong things. It's just a beetle. Stop. Just hit it out the way. We haven't even done the video yet. Okay, y'all, we're back in action. Ready to eat. Ready to eat. Ready to eat. Ready to eat. eat. Oh, wait, pass to me, pass to me. Ready, Ready to, to eat. eat. Oh, wait, you're supposed to. Oh, I didn't pass it back. I didn't pass it back. I didn't do my own thing. <laughs> She's selfish, y'all. Don't ever do a dance choreography with her. <laughs> She's gonna leave you standing there. All right, let's show them what we got. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. One, two, three. Oh! oh. French fries and hot wings, and we got a little bit of carrots and Carson celery. celery on the side, ranch, ranch, oh and we get to go. She drank all her drinks, so she don't got no Dr. Pepper left. I but I have an Arnold Arnold Palmer on the side. Natalie, what? I literally just tweeted how insecure I was about myself. I'm like, look what I'm eating. Should we just go get a salad? Let me just go get a salad. We're not Girl, gonna get this. Girl, if you don't eat this thing, chicken and. I mean, if you really think about it, it's just chicken and potatoes. That's why. <laughs> All right, this is last time for real, for real. So look, if you guys got my number, I told you to text me some questions and juicy stuff that y'all want to know. You know, get some updates, okay? Mm -hmm. Updates. We're going to be eating some wings. So if you want to go get some wings to watch this video. Get your wings. Pause the video. Get some wings. Or don't pause it. Watch the video and then watch it again later. <laughs> yeah, true. First question is, oh, I'm ready. Okay, so the juicy question. Are you and Natalie gonna get married? Mm. What you think? You did just propose to me, but turns out I ain't even gonna say. I ain't even gonna say what happened. Go watch that video. Guys, that's so hard to answer. Say you just uh, you just get in a relationship with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. <laughs> you have been together for what? A month? No, two and a half two, months. Two and a half months. No, I came out to you two and a half months ago. We just got together like this month. Right? Y'all know it might date. not even be a month, y'all. Y'all know the date. Tell us how long we've been together. We made it official this month. How long we've been together? Comment below. You're not going to know if you're going to get married. No, last month we made it official. Girl, okay, I told them to comment below. So I'm trying to figure <laughs> it out. You're not going to know, you know, right away whether or not you're going to get married. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, no. Are we going to get married or? Girl, are you not listening? I'm listening, okay. We don't know. Now, could we? I mean, I mean. It's a possibility, know. you know, Who she knows? might propose to me for real, for real. Nope. <laughs> That's one thing I can guarantee that I will not propose to anybody. Whoa. Wait a minute, hold on. I know you used to dealing with men, you know what I'm saying? And you grew up in this fairy tale world where the men have to propose to you. But I'm a girl too. What if I want to be proposed to? Comment below. Is it right or wrong for the feminine or girl, in your case, fellas? Is it wrong for the girl to propose? It's like, I mean, I'm of course it's not wrong. I don't think it's wrong. Don't get me wrong, these <laughs> game. That's not what I'm saying. But I am it? saying that my standard is <laughs> what I've always dreamt of is somebody proposing to me in just a beautiful way. But you always dreamt of being with a man too. Okay, I'm a female. Look, I was able to, you know, negotiate when it came to. <laughs> Gender, but <laughs> when it comes to my fairy tale wedding, you, you not a proposal. That? That's not up for debate. <laughs> okay. 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 So the next question. We got the curly fries. Can y'all? I don't know. I can't even get into the next question, bro. Look at her chicken. Can y'all see it? Neezy gang. Look at her chicken. Look at this. This is why I can't pay for the food no more. I don't know if y'all can see this or if it's right. focus. There's meat on the bone. Ew, she nasty. What? We together. I, I'm not about to eat your leftover chicken off your bone. That's nasty. Come on, we together now. How would I did if you was my best friend? Oh, she acting like I'm her kid or something. <laughs> Easy. If you and Natalie don't work out, will Natalie continue dating girls or will she go back to men? Damn, I think Natalie got to answer that too. Sheesh, I mean, hold on. I mean, I think the question's for me. How are you going to answer that? I mean, I'm going to ask the question, though. I'm going to ask the question as if it's for me, because I don't even, even want to know, too. Like, are you feeling boys? Like, do you want to be with men? Like, what do you think? Like, you going to go back to men? You don't like men no more. You going to go back to, I mean, Girl, shit, if we ain't together, you ain't going to be with nobody. But if you, you, you know how I am. 
Oh, you sound crazy, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that curly one. You ain't like it's a shark talking about you like you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I tra you transitioned. No. Like, you still like men? Yes. Oh, you bad? Yes. Oh, I thought you was gay now. I didn't know which one you wanted to. Which one are you? The, the L, B, G, T, Q, and the plus. Which one you are know you? You know I still like men. You're the only girl I like. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Why would that be an insult? You shouldn't want me to like every girl. To my fellow LGBTQ plus members, would you want your significant other to like girls when you're with them if you're in a girl and girl? Or like guys, only to you guys. Or vice versa if you were two boys, you know, you're two boys and you like girl. You guys get what I'm saying. Um, honestly, I'm not gonna even lie to y'all. I will probably end up going back to guys. Why? <laughs> If we don't work out, you're right, you're right. Would I continue dating girls? And I honestly don't think so because mm -hmm. I love you so much, and this is an experience that is solely for you mm -hmm. and me. Mm -hmm. And I really don't see anyone else making me love them as much, any other woman, like as much as I love you. And this was something that just happened over like years of us being best friends. So that would be kind of hard to repeat. You're right, you're right. So, realistically. Okay, okay. I don't think I want you to go back to girls either way. I think I probably have to beat them up. Yeah. Yeah, at least you, you can't fight a dude, huh? Y'all already know. I've already admitted that. That's, you got that, bro. You got that. <laughs> so if we don't work out, you better start dating guys because that's the only thing I wouldn't be jealous about. What? Oh my God. That's not even sweet that in fruition. <laughs> we're, not, we're not breaking up. Mm -mm. Look, she's going to end up having a guy best friend that turns her out. She's going to learn what it was like for me. Oh, hell no. Next <laughs> question. Next question. <laughs> Look, I like to dip my ranch with my fries. You like to dip your ranch with your fries? You, you know, know I'm not. I don't know. All right. What has been the most challenging part about transitioning from BFF to girlfriend? Oh, mm, let me enter. The most challenging thing for me from best friend to girlfriend is sometimes I forget that I'm in a relationship, y'all. Not that I'll be like cheating or nothing like that. First off, I mean, I, it's too soon to be cheating. I wouldn't cheat at all. But you know, when you're so used to being with your best friend, you know, you talk about everything. And since we are best friends and we started off as best mm -hmm. friends, started off as close friends, sometimes I do things that is just Should like- Should be freaking there's there's a few new boundaries. It's new not boundaries. too different. You it's know not what I mean? It's not too bad. We don't be. Okay, so like, say for instance. God damn. What? You oh, break it. Playing. You're supposed to break it, break it. That's how you eat chicken. Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all know. Um, but like, say for instance, when we were in Miami, right? We were in Miami. Y'all know I was going to get my girl back. You know, but once I got my girl back, you know, we walked the little boulevard or the strip or whatever, you know, and sometimes I was like, damn, she thick, like the girl walking by. And, you know, I had to think about my nat nat. And I was like, oh, shoot, I forget we're, best, we're not in best friend mode anymore. Like, I can't just not say sometimes, it like that. Because sometimes we do be in best friend mode. Right. Like, oh, shoot. But when I go overboard, it's like. Mm, sometimes we be doing too much. You know, yeah. she's animated. <laughs> like, I'm yeah, like, damn. damn. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, damn, look at her. She dick. Like, too much. <laughs> just kidding, y'all. Just kidding. But Easy's a flirt, y'all. I ain't a flirt. I'm just really nice. Easy is a flirt. I'm, I'm been telling her that my our whole friendship. I told her, girl, you are a flirt. You be flirting with everybody. Oh, don't. Sure, no, no. It'd be the ran most random people, a waitress. She don't even gotta be cute. She gonna turn on her little charm. I'm like, girl. What's my charm? What is my charm? You know what you know what I'm talking about. Y'all know, know what I'm talking about. I just Sometimes nice. I gotta remind her, I'm be like, you can't be flirting like that with everybody no more. Like mm -hmm. you're not single no more. But because we were best friends or still best friends mm -hmm. it's not like she immediately gets jealous she's like all right well, you know i know we're new to this but we got a little reminder let me just, let me just, let me just reel that shit in real quick no, i'm just playing <laughs> okay so the next question is how do you feel about natalie having her own apartment Ooh, that's where we at right now yeah it's getting dark y'all i don't know if y'all can still see us but it's getting dark her beautiful apartment i mean 
honestly how I feel about Natalie having her own apartment. It's crazy that we're not living together, you know, because that was always our goal as best friends. Like, the next spot, we're getting a house. You We've know? been talking about that for years. For years, you know what I'm saying? But now that we're in a relationship, like, we are, we've already broken this down. But now that we're in a relationship, we're trying to take it slow. So that's not the, I don't think that's the smartest thing for it's us to do right now. It's not the most responsible thing. Yeah. So her having her own spot. Y'all already know, like, I love it. I like it. Um, I could be here all the time. I've been here all the time, but I kind of feel like, damn, like, you know, Nat Nat ain't right, you know, right here at my at my crib in the next room. She a little bit further, you know, but not too far. But it's just like sometimes I'm just like, oh, okay. I mean, it's still new, so I don't feel it too much yet. But at That's first, kind of nice, though, don't you think? I think it's nice to get away from her ass sometimes because she's crazy. But other than I'm that, I'm not crazy. I like it. <laughs> I think it's good though, you know, yeah. because it's like honestly, it feels good to be able to miss each other yeah. instead of being all up in each other's grill all the time. You know what I mean? Like even like to be able to go away from each other for a few hours and have somewhere comfortable to be. Right. Oh shoot. Damn, mm. be come on, manners. That's the spicy manners. things. But then after you know a few hours, we can miss each other. You be missing me? What you doing? I pop up by my house. You don't be missing me? I mean, I do. Mm. Was it good? That's so good. It's so good. Let me taste yours. Bro, it's the same thing. Let me taste yours. She's so bad, y'all. <laughs> All right. I want to know what you like to do when you're not working in front of the camera. What does chill time look for you, like for you? The camera ain't Girl. rolling. What, you, what we doing? What we doing? We like to watch Netflix together. We're just going on like little random adventures sometimes, you know. I yeah, know me. Spontaneous. Random stuff, you know. We just be chilling. I get in my zen mode and journal and meditate and stuff. Who does do that? Yeah, also too, we've been trying to like find different streams of income. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because this is how we look at it. What if... YouTube, social media in general, Facebook, Instagram, everything, TikTok. What if all of that shut down right now? What, what are we gonna do? What we what will we do? You know what I'm saying? We're so it's be like broke. Broke. Bro, bro. Bro, bro, y'all, you know what I'm saying? And this, we appreciate you guys and this helps us live. You know what I'm saying? And we love how much you guys support us, guys. It's so incredible. But if we lost an easy game, it'd be so heartbreaking. Just not not even this the brokenness, just my emotions, but the broke I would miss y'all. I would miss y'all so much. Neasy gang. I'd be on the way to my job, you know, with my little Burger King hat on. Like, Neasy gang, gang, gang. Burger King. I'll be at McDonald's. But, you know, we've been trying to find different ways to store sources, different sources of income towards, like, we're trying to be on top. We're trying to be elevated. You know what I'm saying? And you can't have one source of income. You have to have at least seven, you know, at least, at least seven. seven streams of income. So we're trying to figure out different strategic ways so we can make that guapo or stopple. Right now we need to make about six more. Six more. Six more. Six more streams. Six more streams. But we're trying <laughs> to do it so we can teach y'all. Maybe drop another book part two, baby. When was your first time that you were with a girl? <laughs> well, we know Natalie's. <laughs> or do we? Girl, you with me right now. You're with the girl. But do we know that? You had another girlfriend before me? You never know. You never know. I'm just playing now. I know. Trust me. My first time with a girl, literally, I liked this girl. I thought she was hella cute, but I was straight. How old were you? I was in high school. I mean, I've always liked girls, but my first time actually being with a girl. In high school, this girl, we went to middle school together. She messages me and she's like, yo, what's up? You know. Trying to be friends, I guess you think I'm cute or whatever. Slide in my DMs or whatever, right, right, right. Was she sliding or was she just like chilling? Kind of like how you like slid friends. in my DMs. Girl, I was not on that. Okay. So then she's like, yo, can I ask you something? I'm like, what? I already knew what was next. Are you gay? I'm like, I mean, no. Nah, nah, nah. I literally instantly denied it. We ended up talking forever. I thought I was like, yo, I like you or whatever. Just a minute to her. We ended up meeting up. She wanted to fill out job applications. We, we didn't have a car at the time, so we was walking all the way to fill out job applications. I was like, fuck it, I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. So then I'm like, yo, ah, ooh, ah, I got something in my eye. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I got something in my eye. She's like, wanna blow it out? I'm like, yeah, yeah, try. So she does it, blow it out, act like, act like, act like you're blowing it out my eye. Mm. Oh, hell no. <laughs> she's a hater. And me, she like, I'm like, she's like, is it out? And I'm like, nah, nah, it's not out. Can you try again? That would have been me. <laughs> she didn't lean back like that. She was like, 
And that's how, that was my first time being with a girl. Like, you know, I kept kissing her and I became obsessive with her. Yeah, and tell them how you turned into a stalker. I talk, I didn't turn into a stalker, but I was super obsessive. I kept asking for a kiss. Um, once we were trying to leave, I'm like, can I get another kiss, please? Please, can I have another kiss? She's like, oh my God, this is probably exactly how Natalie would act. She was annoyed with me. Long story short, after, what, a week, she said, you know, you act a little weird. You're too, like, on me. I don't want to talk to you no more. <laughs> Come here. No. It's okay. So you were after acting that, a little weird. I was, I was. After that, I stopped, you know, I stopped liking girls. I was like, fuck this, I ain't doing this shit no more. Then later, a year later, I started dating girls, and that was my story. Thank All you. right, easy gang, time to sign out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting dark. I don't know if y'all stuck with us this long. I hope so, because if you did, you're a real writer. Um, at this point, you can just see our shadows. Right. Y'all seen it, but sound really set. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, we're gonna sign out. We love you guys. Easy game. Make sure you subscribe right now. We didn't say in the beginning, but subscribe since you made it this far. Subscribe right now. Follow us on our Instagram account below. We lit. We love you. And easy game. Guess what? We out. We out. Gang, gang. I can't reach in at that. <laughs>